Let's review some of our best practices to keep in mind for SEO and SEROs. First, use in-studio tools whenever possible. For example, the text tool in the studio is better configured for design and for performance than an imported PNG or JPEG of text. Plus, you can get pretty granular in that settings panel to help optimize performance even further. Also, make sure you use the shapes in the studio, rectangle, triangle, etc., rather than importing a PNG or JPEG of a shape whenever possible. The shape tool will render more quickly than a JPEG and having lots of images in an experience can weigh it down. Plus, those shapes and other elements like icons are brought in as SVG files, which make them easy to manipulate and change in the studio. Second, make sure you use short and optimized videos in an MP4 format. The studio will automatically optimize your uploaded videos, but your page will load much more quickly if you make sure to use shorter videos, typically less than 20 seconds. These looping videos usually appear in the background or as an added element in your design, and you don't want the user waiting for it to load or the backend prioritizing that over other content at the forefront. Thank you for taking the time to watch and engage with us today. We hope you learned more about SEO, how it works in Seros, and how to implement it in your workflow and strategy. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your customer success manager or to our support team in the chat window, or check out our Seros Educate articles to learn more.